Good morning, wherever you are hearing my voice, God bless you in the name of Jesus. The topic I want to share with us this morning is what I try to be aware of false prophets or scammers. Beware of false prophets or scammers. My dear brother and sister, anywhere you are hearing my voice, as we have good people, so also we have bad ones. Now, as we have friends, so also there are enemies. There are enemies within, enemies without. The most desperate enemy that we have, there are those enemies, there are those kind of people that are very close to us. And it's, we need to be very careful. I came to share this message with you because even I discovered this that even in the midst of the children of God, we find this this particular thing that is that is going on. False prophets and scammers. There are many, a lot of people are using the name of God to to dupe people. They dupe their members. They dupe their friend. Imagine somebody who even duping is duping his his, his, his wife because the wife has money. And we have some ladies, some women who is who are duping their husband because they want to get something from their husband. I pray God will open the eyes of understanding in Jesus' name. Let's open the Bible to the book of Matthew chapter 7. I will verse 15. Jesus said, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep clothing. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep clothing. But inwardly they are rav- ravenous wolves. That is, they are detriment. They are very detrimental. They are not good. They are very bad. They are very very awful. This is serious matter. Jesus was explaining to his people. I want to get this message very carefully. Enemy, the mission of the enemy. It's in the book of John 10, 10. That's the mission. They don't have another mission. And Jesus made it to understand that they won't come in a in a in a in a in a, in a, in a devilish or in a friendly manner. They will appear in a friendly manner so that you will welcome them. There are there are people, most of them they are very close to us. I remember when I traveled outside Nigeria, I shared this message to people, to the, to the people in the world, to people over there. I said there are seven kinds of human beings you will meet in life. Seven kinds of them you meet. Whether you like it or not, you will meet them. And in the midst, in the midst of these seven kinds of people, these are the, this is one of them, the false prophets. Hallelujah. The false prophets, the killers. They are people that we, we they we come across, or either we come across them or they come across us. I pray God will deliver us in the name of Jesus. Jesus gave this message even before social media. Gave you this message that they, are, they will come in sheep clothing, but they are ravenous wolves. Look at verse 16. They, you will know them by their fruit. Whether they like it or not, they are the scammers. Whether you are scamming from a, from a social media, it won't last. It will not last. Tell me what is lasting in this world. The only thing that is lasting in this world is the word of God. If you have a car, it does not last. If you have money, it does not last. If you have a house, it won't last. Even yourself, how many years you want to spend this life? You can't last. Like the Bible says that a thousand years, a day before God is a one thousand years. Now, when I do my calculation as a Bible scholar, I discover this: a second before God is approximately for two years, two seconds, eighty-four years, three seconds, one hundred twenty-six years, five seconds is two hundred ten years. There was a man in the Bible who lived for nine hundred sixty-nine years. Mid seller. How many people have, have, have ever lived to that year? That's to tell you that this world you are, you, you are dead just for a moment, for a little time. That means it can't, it can't last. 
The only thing that lasts is the word of God. The Bible says, For ever, O Lord, the word is settled and is settled in heaven. Now, I'm just pity those that are scamming. Whether you scam people's money, you scam people's account, WhatsApp number, you, you will find one way and go to somebody's account and you snatch his money or her money. And you think you are doing the best. You are inviting the wrath of God upon your life. Whoever that is involved, you are doing in that kind of uh, evil acts. You are inviting the word of God, or you are using the name of God to rob people. Listen to me very well. You are inviting the wrath of God upon your life because those that you are doing that for, they won't pray for you. They will curse you. They are God will even they will curse you because they work. They get the money with their legitimate, legitimately, and you now went. You go there and you, you steal their money from their bank. Or you go to somebody, you go to the account, somebody account, and you steal, you steal the money. Or you smuggle to people's uh, WhatsApp number, and you steal the money. This is a serious matter. You can't go scot free. This will be. I, I kept, I kept on praying, I kept on cursing people that entered the the WhatsApp group that I created, and this last people's people's account, and they use that name to be 